smaller and smaller so vertical and indie text will be at the same latitude which is 30 degree of isr We can see Lima, St. Petersburg, Rome, Kimberley, Agra, Port Blair, and Tokyo in this map. Taj Mahal is located in the Agra. It's located in Asian continent. For Graham in St. Petersburg, Taj Mahal is in southeast direction. For Katya in Kimberley, Taj Mahal located in northeast direction. For Michiko in Tokyo, Taj Mahal for southwest direction. And for Meenakshi, Taj Mahal located in northwest direction. For others, Shahid can say that he lives in northeast hemisphere of the earth. Natalia in Rome and Entrika in Lima can say that the others are live in the east direction their answer will be same each of these children here located the taj mahal in a different way according to their location so their answer are different this means the direction may confuse for others this is the way it is very important to find a new system to state exact location of any place of the earth if you observe a globe you can see some vertical and horizontal line on it with a different number Will you ever think about it? This line and numbers are help us to find the location in the earth. In this picture, you can see the length of the earth and give the idea about the size of the earth. Actually, there are no lines on the earth and it is impossible to draw on it. To solve this problem, geographers develop a small model of the earth is called a globe. globe help us to determine the location on the earth the line we see on the globe are imaginary line on the earth the location of the any place on the earth is determined with the reference to the center of the earth in order to do it we considered a straight line joining the point on the surface and the center of the earth at the center it makes an angle with the plane of the equator The measure of this angle is used in determining the location. For example, in this figure, the measure of angle XMB is 30 degree. That is, its angular distance from the equator is 30 degree. Look at the figure and tell the angular distance of Y from the equator. In the textbook, figure 1.4 is an activity for you. In the upper portion of the circle at the center, X draw angle of 20 degree. B1, X, K1 and V2, X, K2. K1 and K2 being the point on the circle. Draw an ellipse join K1 and K2. In the lower half of the circle, mark angle of 60 degree and name the point on the circle as p1 and p2 draw an ellipse join p1 and p2 you must have realized that the ellipse drawn by joining the degree 20 point is larger than the ellipse that joining 60 degree points however the distance x k1 and x p2 are the same this is because we are dealing with the sphere note that though these lines appear to be ellipse in a diagram on the globe they are circle the circle thus created at some angular distance from the center of the earth are parallel to one another 
Hence, they are called parallels of these latitudes. The values of parallels are angular measures expressed in degrees. The equator bisects the earth into north and south part. The one of the north is called northern hemisphere, while the one of the south is called southern hemisphere. Towards the north and south of the equator, parallels of latitude progressively become smaller and smaller. On the globe, at the north and south end of the earth axis, they appear as points. These are called North Pole and South Pole respectively. While mentioning the values of parallel, it is necessary to mention whether it is Northern or Southern Hemisphere. The parallel from the Northern Hemisphere are referred as 5 degree North, 15 degree North, 30 degree North, 50 degree North, whereas the parallel from the Southern Hemisphere are referred as 5 degree South, 15 degree South, 30 degree South, 50 degree South, respectively. In the textbook, Figure number 1.6. Here you can see a line joining all the places located to the north of the equator at an angular distance of 30 degree is 30 degree north parallel. Hence, all the place on this parallel will be at the same latitude, which is 30 degree north. New Orleans in North America, Cairo in Africa. Basra and Lhasa in Asia are located in 30 degree north parallel. The same concept hold good for all other parallel too. Again in your textbook, in figure 1.8, angle ABC, angle DEF, angle GHI have the same measure, 50 degree. However, the distance between A and C, D and F and G and I are different when measured on the earth's surface. That is because the earth is spherical in shape. Again, it is one more activity in textbook figure number 1.9. Let me line A, M, B0 degree on the picture draw the line MB because the angle it make with the line AM and write it near B. Note the semicircle that passes through the B and join the north and south pole. Trace it. Now join MC, measure angle AMC and write it next to C. Draw a semicircle that passes through the C that join the north and south poles. Draw a line that passes through point A and 0 degree and join the north and south pole. Now you can understand that the line drawn from the point A and B and C make angle at M, the center of the earth on the plane of the equator. To this point we can draw semicircle join both the pole, starting with A and we can draw similar semicircle through the point placed at each degree. These semicircles are known as meridian of longitude. One of these meridian is considered to be zero degree. It is known as prime meridian. The angular distance of the other meridian from the prime meridian are measured in degree and are called longitude. You have done this in this activity based on figure 1.9 on the textbook the 0 degree and 180 degree meridian light opposites on the globe. Forming a circle, this circle divides the earth in eastern and western hemisphere. All meridian are equal in size. Meridian in the eastern hemisphere are labeled as 10 degree east, 25 degree east, 135 degree east, etc. While in the western hemisphere, they are called 10 degree west, 25 degree west. 135 degree west, etc. 30 degree east is the semicircle that join all place that an angular distance of 30 degree from the prime meridian. Some of them are Cairo, Harare, and the Durban in Africa. See figure 1.6. 
and the important one we want to remember is that the distance between two adjacent parallel is 111 km on the surface of the earth the distance between two adjacent meridian is also 111 km on the equator to locate the place within the distance of 111 km exactly we need to divide the angle degree into smaller unit degrees are divided into minutes and minutes into second Conven conventionally latitudes and longitudes are expressed into degrees minutes and second each degree is divided into 60 minute and a minute into 60 second these values are expressed using the symbol degree dash degree dash minutes and dash second in all we can draw 360 meridians each at a distance of 1 degree zero prime meridian it will come in the center and 180 degree meridian 1 east 1 degree east to 179 degree east meridian thus we have 179 meridian in the eastern hemisphere at the same 1 degree to 179 degree west meridian is also there thus we can continue counting 179 meridians in the east, east western hemisphere at the same we want to remember this the distance between two consecutive meridian is different on different parallel it is maximum in the equator it is zero on both the pole equator the dist distance between two meridians here is 111 km in tropic of cancer it will come around 102 km and polar circle it has come around 44 km north pole and south pole it is 0 km finally in this chapter we studied different parallels and meridians on globe form like a net this net is we are actually calling the graticals this facilitate determining the location of a place thus we use latitude and longitude for determining the location on the earth this method is being used even today's modern age quite effectively we are normally using in our daily day to day life gps and the geographical information system as also google map wiki mapia and buan of isro on the internet also make us of latitude and longitudes this technology is also available on mobile phone and motor car in india we have achieved a self reliance in global positioning technology with the help of irnss indian regional navigation satellite system locating any place in the india indian subcontinent is going to be easy for this india is launching its own series of seven satellite it will then be possible to locate any place in the region of south asia and indian ocean preciously